Good morning. It's a bright and early and sunny one. I'm running over to Walgreens because, fun fact if you didn't know this, um, not only is Sarah allergic to Eve, but Sarah's mom is really allergic to Eve, so she's been taking Claritin. But um, we thought we had more, but we ran out. So I'm running into Walgreens this morning before, I like started my work day, I've been just running out to this quick errand, um, grabbing some Claritin, um, I think just a few other little things, and then back at it, the coffee is brewing back at home. Yes, I dared to take on the world without any coffee, but I will surely down a massive mug when I get home. Guess whose tire's still messed up? To my tire's defense, I never got it checked out. It was, I never prioritized it. So, probably be first thing after uh, the new year. First nap of the day for this kid. We had a super nice relaxed morning and James was so wide awake and playing and happy. Um, it was great because my mom's first full day was like the first time he was really like had an upset tummy and was pretty restless so it was just such nice visiting um relaxing and like we said before my mom is usually so go 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 like to just be on the couch and relax it was awesome um but today we're taking advantage of the daytime to go out and show her some of the neighborhood and peter is again taking a half day today and so we brought her to cappy's which is the sandwich place that actually reminded us of chicago um that we went to i think it was the night before i was induced um so i'm getting a reuben they went to go out and see the menu it's actually very busy like we came here kind of later and we were the only people here um our first visit and so it's kind of funny to see it bump in during the day and so is he waking up you might be able to see him better in the mirror behind me and so they're going to order see if there's a spot we feel comfortable at sitting or just bring it back to the car like a typical Brookhart car meal All right, we're beginning the daytime Orlando tour with bringing Suda, actually Maitland's to go to Cappy's. This delicious menu. Sue got a chicken Philly. Sarah, Sarah, ready for cherry sauce window? Sarah got a Reuben and I got an Italian sausage. So seating's a little busy here. So I think we're gonna drive just a little bit down the road to Lake Lily Pond. Um, big parking lot there, we might even be able to find a table next to the lake to eat at outside before we go back to Park Avenue and check it out during the day. But I'm so excited for this. We got some onion rings and I want to go back and order a bunch because it was that kind of day where like all of a sudden you weren't hungry but then on your way to the place to get food you got angry. Okay. Mom and grandma. These are the pops that this place gave us. Got it's it? like, Peter, how many ounces is this? Uh, 400 probably. It's like a full gallon. What? It's a like gallon. 32 ounces. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's 32. So we took our food to this Lake Lily Park. Isn't it cute? There is a Christmas tree. Divine. My hands are dripping with grease, <laughs> and I haven't even eaten any food. I'm shaking. You're the happiest Christmas tree. Here's wow, an Italian sausage. So I realized we're eating sausage for dinner too. It's okay. But it's a different kind of sausage. Yeah. We got onion rings and waffle fries. Woo! It's chilly. <laughs>
tour of daytime Orlando right, or Winter Park. Uh -huh. oh. He's just waking up now, now that we're home. <laughs> I thought you were going to say we forgot to do something. No, we were going to go see another couple of blocks of nice houses later. Yeah. Maybe on a walk. <laughs> How's your ankle? Ouchie. Oh, stretches. Stretches for days. Good morning. How was your nap? James is watching the Christmas Carol. Who are you smiling at? <laughs> Bolly and Bolly. If you haven't seen Muppets Christmas Carol, watch it for James. Mm -hmm. Hi, cutie girl. You know, my ring will get loose and then yeah. all of a sudden. <laughs> you hear that? He's like, Hi, sweetie boy. Um, James is apparently a big boy now, ever since last time. He sits. <laughs> sits on our laps. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're super cute. Kind of <laughs> smiling. Oh, oh. squeaky. <laughs> Squeakers. We're going to watch a, a new movie that just came out called Fatima. Portuguese children, I think, is the story. We'll let you know how it is after. So the movie wasn't necessarily what we thought it was going to be, but we enjoyed it. And now we have Andre Bocelli Christmas music on. We're soaking up what we can of Christmas. We're, we're just not ready to give it up yet. My mom is making us the botch. Mom is never quite the same. She makes it crispy. So I came over to the couch to feed James, but about the babotch. I just like, it never is crispy enough when I make it. Um, and so I'm asking her to teach me her ways so that I make it better next time. And she uses vegetable oil and it has to be super, super, super hot. Um, she also peeled the potatoes, which I typically don't take the time to do, but it's really easy. Um, I think she like, <laughs> she said she's under pressure, so it might not be as crispy. And then sausage. And it's meat sausage. So I'm pumped, eat it with ketchup, and maybe leftover salad from yesterday. The box is delicious with onions, green peppers, and sausage. Fried on up. Here it is. It just even looks better when my mom makes it. And if you're curious, it is smoked sausage. And we, we top off the meat and grease with sugars. <laughs> You're just like giggling at Phil. <gasps> Hi, baby. Oh, it's over there. You like Phil? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your daddy's so silly. I love you. Oh, my goodness. You've been by your mom the whole dinner time. Do you hang out with grandma and your dad? Maybe. Look at this sweetie pie on his grandma like that. Sweetest. Surprise, we're still watching Phil. They spend the day in the hospital and the last thing they want to do when they come back from the hospital is to sit down and figure out how they're going to go shopping, make a dinner. I was found dead food. I was driving that car. Patrick Swayze. It is December 30th. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, December 29th. Mm -hmm. The quote, the third quote from the end of eternity. Harry Lee McGinnis from McGinnis & Co. If you do not have a dream in your pocket, run. Don't walk and find yourself a dream to become and be. She's exhausted. So tired. We got no baby with us. Baby was so tired, we threw him in the bassinet. Just wrapped him up, put him in the spot. And he stayed asleep. Well, for now. It's good to be home. It's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.